Hello, welcome back. We've got something a bit bit different, I suppose, today. I popped into B&M to get it's the cheapest place to get the dogs choose and toys from, so I thought, while I'm there, I might as well have a look round. And I saw this. Hmm, one pound. One pound in B&M. That can't be any good, can it? Deli lentils and Bombay biryani. Black lentils and kidney beans slow cooked in tomato, onions and spices accompanied with a biryani flavoured rice. It says medium, um, no doubt it's going to be mild, but one pound? What? How can they make that? Unpackage it and get it sent out and everything else for one pound. Now, I have got three different lots of these. There's three flavours in B&M, so you'll have three uploads. Uh, one for each one, of course. Today we're doing this one, deli lentils and Bombay biryani. One pound. And before I get on to this, don't forget, this coming Saturday we are not live. Because we're away. But we are live on Wednesday, and it's a birthday special as well for somebody. So join us for that, the last live, before we go away. And also, there will be two probably uploads next week. You should get three this week and two next week, depending what time I get, because obviously looking after the dogs and work and reviews and everything. So three this week, maybe two next week, but then a week on Saturday, we are back live as normal, which I believe is the 13th, no, the 14th. But anyway, on to this. It's microwavable as well, by the way. One and a half minutes. Heat and eat. A pound, a pound. For a dinner, one and a half minutes in the microwave. This can't be any good, surely. Let's see. Is it any good? Right, just to let you know, uh, it's two separate packets. So you basically just tear the top, put them in the microwave and ding it. Ooh. So now they are going to be warmed up. Right, warmed up then. Uh, it did take one and a half minutes. They are in like plastic microwave as you just saw packets But it does also say that you can boil it on the hob just place a packet in boiling water Or you can actually cook it on the hob out of the packets, but microwave one and a half minutes now first impressions You see that Look at that rice looks nice, doesn't it? Biryani rice <laughs> <laughs> nothing like it the the doll the lentils do look like okay right that's what it is you see that yeah the rice looks nothing like it now there is enough that for a pound it's enough for a, a lunch you do get more lentils than the rice which surprised me and it don't smell bad i don't know if you've ever had tinned i don't mean from a supermarket but it, you you Proper Asian shops, they do like tin spinach and tin potatoes, Bombay potatoes and spinach and potatoes and all this sort of thing. And it is the foreign makes, the proper ones. And it's got that sort of smell to it, that garlicky, garlic, ginger. And then you get all the other spices with it. it it's not bad, smell-wise. Not the best looking. Again, look, you can see it there. It just... It's enough. It's quite thick, the lentils, and the lentils don't look a bad colour. The rice looks nothing, nothing like that. Let's try the rice first. You have got peas and potatoes in the rice, and uh, I don't know what else. Hmm, something green in there. Oh, it could be mint leaves. Mint leaves are on the uh, ingredients, so I don't know. Let's try the rice then. Hmm. Not bad, I'm getting ginger, getting the ginger even in the rice. And I do have to say, the rice is cooked better for a microwave rice than you get from a lot of the big names. Hmm. Not loaded with flavour the rice, but there's enough, enough flavour there for a pound. Let's try the spuds, fussy about my spuds. Not bad, let's try the lentils. It's a, a what, dark, deli lentils. I don't know what deli lentils are, but... Yeah, garlic, ginger, uh, the lentils are not bad and they're not hard as well, they cook nice. Obviously, because it's one and a half minutes in the microwave, it's going to be pre-cooked anyway. Now, I would have said the, the rice needs a bit of salt on it, but when you mix it with the dal, the lentils, because the lentils don't need salt, it's, I can taste a bit of saltiness in there, so... Right... 
Uh, you don't. Once you've opened this, by the way, you can refrigerate it for up to three days. It says so. That's good. I don't get why it says card sleeve. The box, in other words, widely recycled plastic pouch that's inside it. Not currently recycled. Well, what's the point then? You either make it recyclable, the whole thing, or don't bother. Uh, I really don't. It does get my goat, this recycling thing. Check with your local councils or whatever. you got time to ring them up. Can I recycle this? And after time, they don't know. If you can hear whining, Mouse has got one on him. So, I don't know. But anyway, rating on that. It's a thumbs up. That For a pound. A pound. I don't know how they do it. But I tell you what, this is quite acceptable for just a lunch. What can I say? It's a thumbs up. Uh, any buts to that? No. How can they be? For a pound. And you're getting a tasty, mildly spiced, I, I wouldn't say medium, but again, you don't know what their benchmark is. So, But I can taste, the, well not taste, but I can get the effect of a bit of chilli at the back of my throat. So there is a bit there. And it's not wipe you out. It is vegan, by the way, as well. And I can't fault that for a pound. I really can't. I'll do it just, I don't know. Thumbs up. Any butts now? Would I recommend it? Yes, go and try it if you've got, if you can find them in your B&M. Uh, would I get it again? Yes. And the date on it is November 2024. So I'm going to get a few of these because if you're ever stuck for what to have for a lunch, you just... Can't knock it. Can't knock it for that. Ashoka. I think that's how you how you pronounce it. But it's not a shocker. It's definitely not a shocker. It's uh, it's okay. Go and get them. Uh, try it because it's. I'm I'm amazed that that, that tastes half decent. In fact, I wouldn't even say half decent. I would say it tastes nice for a pound. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not. It's free. It's always free. You know that. Drop your comments in. Have you tried these? What did you think? Bear in mind it's a pound. So you can't go in saying that's not authentic. Blah, blah, blah. It's a pound. And don't forget to click your notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. Just select all from the drop down menu and you'll get all the notifications if YouTube can be bothered to send them out. Which they can't always. And I'm going to go and finish this because it's not bad. See you later. Alligator.